us every day. Our policy has become to just ignore that. I almost let it break me um, to be called those horrible things when I'm not that kind of person at all. When all I was trying to do is good for my community, it did almost break me. Fortunately, I have a wonderful scholarly soldier at home named John Anderson who was able to support me through that. So we just don't look at that stuff anymore. There's, I hear there's a website out there called Empowerment Experiment Niggers, and there's a face group, anti-empowerment experiment face group, and like three or four organizations that have uh, sprouted up to counter what we've been able to accomplish. Um, they, uh, some of the comments online you'll see if you're to just look at some of our videos and then actually go to the comments, but you know, stuff like, well, we're already supporting the black community anyway because all of you are either in prison or on welfare. You know, that kind of stuff. That's the stuff we brought out in the experiment. What we wanted was all of America to get behind this notion of creating jobs for the chronically unemployed by supporting the businesses that were most inclined to support, to create those jobs. Um, for some, for those folks, it didn't work. Unfortunately, that is a big chunk um, of American society. And because of that, because of those stupid comments, because of those people, it has been very difficult for us to grow this experiment in that smart business plan way that we thought it could grow. We built this idea assuming that America was where we thought it was because we elected my law school professor. So I talked to corporations, and we can have that conversation too. The fight I have in the consumer space, in the B2C space, with our, our 